Good day everyone. Welcome to another learning material for calculus, the time rates made easy for calculus learners and teachers. The influence of calculus can be seen in our everyday lives. One of the problems which shall be presented here is relative to cylindrical water container which is shown at my back. We are going to explore how mathematical problems can be solved using calculus as applied in real life situations. In this case, finding the properties, dimensions, capacity, and rate by which water may arise given certain conditions as presented in the worded problem which shall be solved. Now, sit back and relax while you are watching. Learn from this instructional material and may you find gain knowledge from previous courses applicable in solving the worded problem. May you find this learning material fun yet helpful in your journey to learning calculus as applied in our daily lives. The cylindrical water tank presented here is measured relative to its height, diameter, and its volume are calculated. Your knowledge from your solid measuration course may come in handy in solving mathematical worded problems such as this, since it involves solid figures. The application of derivatives shall be presented along with the application of time rates. Based on the given problem, a closed cylindrical water tank has a capacity of 11,310 liters. We have to determine the radius and the height of the tank that requires minimum amount of material used. Remember, in order to minimize the material used, we also have to minimize the dimensions of the water tank. Let us begin by identifying the given data. According to the problem, the volume of the closed cylindrical water tank is 11.31 cubic meters. Meantime, for the unknown value, what is being asked in the problem is the minimum radius and height for minimum amount of material. Since required in the problem are the properties of the cylindrical water pump, such as the minimum radius and height, the formula for the volume of the cylinder may be applied where the volume is equal to pi times r squared times the height. Another applicable formula is the formula for the surface area of cylinder. Since the given cylindrical water tank is closed, the area of the basis shall be multiplied by 2 and shall be added the lateral surface area. Thus, the formula for the total surface area of the cylindrical water tank shall be 2 times pi times r squared plus the quantity 2 times pi times r times h, where r is the radius, h is the height, and pi is has a constant value of 3.1416. The surface area of basis of the cylindrical water tank is the circular area multiplied by 2. Pi times R squared is the formula for the area of a circle and shall be multiplied by 2 because the cylindrical water tank is closed and has to Basis. After having identified the given data, 
what is being asked and what applicable formulas can be used. We are now ready to solve the worded problem. Using the formula for volume, which is equals to pi times r squared times h, where r is the radius and h is the height, and substituting the given volume of 11.31 cubic meter with a formula, 11.31 is equals to the quantity pi times r squared times h. Further operation of the mathematical equation leads us to the equation where the unknown height is expressed in terms of the unknown radius. Therefore, h is equals to 11.31 divided by the quantity pi times r squared, where h is the height and r is the radius, which are both unknowns. Solving further the mathematical equation leads us to the equation h is equals to 3.6 divided by r squared. Now, using the formula for the total surface area, where the area of the basis is added to the lateral surface area, a is equals to the quantity 2 times pi times r squared plus the quantity 2 times pi times r multiplied by h, where a is the total surface area, r is the radius, and h is the height. Substituting the value of height h from the previous calculation to the equation of the total surface area, we get the equation A is equals to the quantity 2 times pi times r squared plus the quantity 2 times pi times r multiplied by the value of h with quantity 3.6 divided by r squared. Again, take note that r is the radius. The total surface area is equal to the quantity 2 times pi multiplied by r squared plus the quantity 7.2 times pi divided by r. Now, let us differentiate the equation for the total surface area A. The change in area relative to the change in radius is dA divided by dR or the dDR of A is equals to 2 times 2 times pi times r minus the quantity 7.2 times pi divided by r squared. Thus, dA divided by dr is equals to the quantity 4 times pi times r minus the quantity 7.2 times pi divided by r squared. Equating the quantity 4 times pi multiplied by 4 minus the quantity 7.2 times pi divided by r squared to 0, then we are going to use the equation 0 is equals to the quantity 4 times pi 
times r raised to the third power minus the quantity 7.2 times pi. 4 times pi times r raised to the third power equals 7.2 times pi. Therefore, 7.2 times pi divided by 4 times pi is equals to 4 times pi multiplied by r raised to the third power divided by the quantity 4 times pi. The radius r raised to the third power or r cubed is equals to 1.8. Therefore, finding for the radius r, we take the cube root of 1.8. This leads us to the final answer for the unknown r, the radius of the cylindrical water tank, which is 1.2 meters. Take note that whenever you are expressing your answer, make sure to accompany the correct value with the appropriate unit of measurement. Now, using the previous equation for the height h, h is equals to 3.6 divided by r squared and substituting the computed value of radius r of 1.2 meters will lead us to the value of h. Thus, the value of height, h, is equals to 3.6 divided by 1.2 squared. And the final answer for the height, h, is equals to 2.43 meters. Having computed the value of minimum radius, which is 1.2 meters, and the minimum height, which is 2.43 meters for the closed cylindrical water tank, we have finished and completed solving the worded problem. With this, I hope you are learning a lot from my videos. Kindly watch out for upcoming sequel of this episode. Once again, this is Dr. Ram at your service. See you again on my next video tutorial.